Okay, so in today's video, I'll be talking about different kinds of printers and various advantages and disadvantages for each one, or pros of cons, and cons for various types of printers. So the first printer I'll be talking about is a dot matrix printer. And the picture of this is a Epson LQ 20902 24-pin dot matrix printer. And the um, Epson Seiko it still makes a dot matrix printer, surprisingly. They've been making them since the 1980s. And they still make them now. And the people who use these types of printers are usually uh, business people. Um, they're still used in a lot of businesses to print stuff like receipts and stuff like this. So this type of printer is called a contact printer. So um, the way it works is um, so the way it works is uh, dot matrix printers have heads. So this is a nine uh, pin an example of a nine pin dot matrix printer the way it works is it moves from left to right and you see that you see that it's printing with the dots right so to make a uh, graphics or uh, text basically um, and there's nine pins and there's up to 24 pins the more pins the higher the resolution basically so nine pins uh, there's 24 head print heads so of course the more pins it has the better it is basically in terms of quality but there are limitations to these type of printers like um, for example uh, the graphics resolution is pretty low by today's standards typically it's 72 dpi to 360 DPI. DPI means dots per square inch. I mean dots per inch. Let me make sure is that dot per square inch or DPI. Okay, it's dots per inch, not dots per square inch. So it's dots per inch, so 360 is a maximum, so it's very limited in terms of graphics resolution. 360 DPI is not enough for today's printing. The print speed is pretty slow. It could be anywhere from half a page to uh, three pages a minute, which is not fast by today's standards. The print head's life is about 200 to 400 million characters, which is a lot. This is the cost per page. I don't think it's, it's including the paper. It's about 0.15 to 2 cents a page. And the price is pretty expensive, 5 to $3,500. And then this print for this printer, it costs anywhere from four hundred fifty to five hundred fifty dollars, which is considerably more than an inkjet bubble jet printer or a laser printer, which is within that price range. And the inkjet printer is within that price range. And um, the only major advantage of this printer is the cost per page, which is the lowest out of the out of the three so um, and these types of printers are pretty durable it's a 400 million characters so let's say 300 million and um, let's how many pages would you get out of this basically
three hundred million divided by five million get about ninety nine thousand nine hundred six sixty pages out of it which is pretty good and they call these contact printers because the print head touches the paper for the other two printers it doesn't do that so um, if you have carbon copy uh, paper then these types of printers are pretty useful so that uh, you get you could get the carbon copies because the print head is impacting the printer so you, this is pretty useful for businesses and these type of ribbons don't cost very much they could cost anywhere from maybe five to ten dollars but the only expensive thing about this is the paper the spherical computer paper the special type of paper dot matrix printer uses this is pretty expensive um, the cost of this is about two to two point four cents per page so if you bought like a two thousand pages let's see how much that comes out to be about fifty bucks which is considerably more than regular copy paper which is less than a cent two thousand be like about eighteen dollars or something so it's considerably less to just buy regular copy paper but you can't use regular copy paper in a dot matrix printer so um, this is an ink ribbon so this ribbon goes in there it kind of like rotates like that and there's ink in there so it just gets wet it just keeps rotating like that and it just impacts the printer and you would know when the ink is getting lower and lower because the print quality would decrease or, or start fading over time so you would know when you're running out of ink but for these two printers you wouldn't know so the initial cost for dot matrix printer is pretty high and there are more expensive dot matrix printers than this so this is just a um, regular dot matrix printer I think Epson might be the only company that I know that produces dot matrix printers I'm not sure if there are others but this company has been producing dot matrix printers since the 1980s from from my personal experience so um, the cost Printing one page is about 3.19 pages cents per page. So you just add the paper and the ink, and you get the price per page, basically. So the next type of printer is called a bubble jet or inkjet printer. I didn't put the K there, so sorry about that. Inkjet printer. Uh, this is a Canon Pigma MG3620 inkjet printer. And basically, um, I think Canon was responsible for pioneering inkjet uh, printer technology. And the way this type of printer works is pretty simple. Not simple, but uh, it's pretty easy to understand, in other words. So the way this works is it uses a nozzle. There's like a computer chip in there which kind of like regulates it of how much uh, ink is sprayed onto the paper. And the nozzle um, basically sends the ink in terms of in droplets to the paper. So that's how um, you get an image or print on the paper basically so 
So basically the information is sent from your computer to the printer and it just puts the image on the paper. So it uses something called piezoelectric um, charge charges causes piezo crystal to vibrate the inward vibrational moment movement pushes ink out of the nozzle while the outward movement pulls ink from a cartridge so that's how it basically works so electric current passes through the manifold causing it to vibrate and it sends the ink in there and it, it just goes on the paper into the drop in the form of droplets so that's how it basically works So this type of um, printer uses something called ink cartridges and there's like a small microchip in there and that's the reason why these cartridges are so expensive and something like a cartridge like this would cost maybe twenty to thirty dollars and you don't get that many uh, pages out of it for this cartridge you get three hundred pages per cartridge which is not very much and the cartridge is, like I said, quite expensive. I had one of these inkjet type of printers back in 1998 or 1999. It was a Canon BJC 2000 printer. And um, the printer was not very expensive. It was only like $50 or something. But the cartridges were like $35 and stuff like that. So if you bought just two ink cartridges then that would be the cost of the printer and the problem with this type of printer is it does kind of like get clogged up the nozzles do and so it's not recommended that um, you use um, remanufactured ink uh, cartridges because the type of ink um, the remanufacturing company uses might not be compatible with your printer and um, it could cause issues like uh, your printer not printing well or your printer being damaged you know the nozzles getting clogged up and if you don't use the inkjet printer for a long time the nozzles do get clogged so it's not going to print so another problem with this type of printer is um, when you first put in an ink cartridge what it does is it uh, shoots some ink out of the nozzle you know so it, it kind of like makes it unclogged so that wastes some ink so some of your ink is wasted like that so this expensive ink cartridge ink is wasted so that does kind of like reduce the efficiency of it but that's basically what ink jet printers do or bubble jet printers and uh, the cost of the ink is about 7.3 cents per page the paper is about 0.86 cents per page so the price per price per page is about 8.16 cents per page which is the most expensive out of the three and you could try to refill these cartridges but a lot of the times it's very hard to do because there's the chip in there with a counter in it and this will prevent you from um, using uh, remanufactured cartridges but uh, people do know how to hack these things but like I said if you use the wrong type of ink it could damage your printer in the long run it may work up to like a certain point but then maybe after like a couple of years it's going to break or something you're going to have issues and so I, I would say these types of printers are kind of like disposable printers you use it and then it breaks and you just buy another one it's not even worth trying to repair it so that's basically how it is with these type of printers all you need is the ink cartridge to get it to run 
And the next type of printer I'll be talking about is a laser printer. So the way this type of printer works is um, a lot more complicated in the way that um, it works. So the paper it goes into the tray and I think you have something called a, a pickup roller. It's a rubber piece which picks the paper up and that thing does get dirty over time and it since it is rubber it does get worn out and you do have to replace it and clean it and maintain it or the paper is not going to feed properly into the laser printer so there's a lot of rollers in here and they can get worn out over time and that will prevent the machine from working and the way it works is your computer sends uh, what it wants to print to the printer through a USB cable or a RG45 network cable or a wireless or whatever and what it does is it uses a laser and sends it to sends a laser to this mirror which creates an image on this drum right here so the image is on the drum and on here in this part you have uh, negatively charged particles uh, which is which helps create the image basically and the toner has posit is positively charged so that uh, basically um, so what was etched onto the drum has negative um, charge on it right and the positive charges from the toner so the negative and positive attract and it with the image on the drum which is created from the laser from the mirror and uh, what happens is the paper goes here right under here and then what it does is um, it creates the image on the paper and then it goes into this fuser which basically uh, fuses the toner the toner is a res a plastic like resin it fuses on the paper and then it goes here and it goes there and it goes out of the printer and then you get it basically so that's basically how it works and it's very complicated there's a lot of different parts to it you have the toner cartridge you got the drum unit which is a necessary uh, part of the printer and you do have to replace this after like 12 to 13 thousand pages which adds cost to it and you have the laser too the laser does get worn out you have the transfer belt and then you got the fuser unit which is uh, that thing right here which uh, heats um, which gets heated up and fuses the image the toner um, onto the paper basically so very complicated thing so many things could go wrong in this and break down or become unreliable over time if you don't maintain it and I did make some videos on how to replace like the pickup roller and stuff like that I'll leave that in the video descriptions not the video descriptions but the video cards right there on the far right corner if you're interested in looking at it and there's other parts that can go wrong with it like this uh, solenoid uh, stuff and various other stuff it's very complicated so uh, yes they do break down and there are problems with it so the main parts you will have to buy would be the toner of course which has the ink toner on it which is a plastic resin like I said there's also color um, toners as well depending on the laser printer that you pick and for this particular cartridge you get about 1200 pages per page, per toner and this is a brother HL H2300D uh, laser printer and these are very common 
and you do have to get the drum unit which needs to be replaced for this printer after 12,000 pages and a drum the drum is an essential part of a laser printer so it gets the image onto the drum onto the paper basically and basically the cost of the printer up front is not very expensive it's anywhere from a hundred to maybe two hundred dollars but for this printer it's about 140 to 160 but usually this type of printer this model of printer retails for a hundred the reason why it's expensive is because of this pandemic pro stuff we're having right now and the supply chain problems we're having as a result the price did go up so the paper for this type of printer is not a lot it's less than a cent per page but the expensive part would be the toner and the drum unit so it's recommended that you don't use uh, remanufactured uh, toners or drums but um, the drums and the toners for the remanufactured ones are not very expensive but you could have problems with your printer in the long run or print quality issues but it's up to you so if you use a remanufactured toner and drum it would cost you only 1.52 cents per page and this is a lot less expensive than the dot matrix printer or the inkjet and if you use the OEM or original equipment manufacturer drum and toner um, OEM toner is about 3.7 cents per page and that comes out to about 45 to 50 dollars per uh, toner cartridge and the drum is a little more expensive Well, actually a lot more expensive that's one of the most expensive parts of a laser printer and they could cost anywhere from 90 to 120 dollars per drum depending on the printer for, for this printer about maybe 95 to 100 dollars so if you get the OEM printer and a drum the operating cost is about 5.36 cents per page if you buy the remanufactured stuff, it's 1.52 cents per page, which is um, almost three times less than buying the OEM uh, toner cartridge and from. And for these type of laser printers, they have something called a counter. You do have to reset it. Uh, from time to time I'll leave that in the video description I mean uh, the video cards on the far right and it really depends on the printer and how you do it so there are basically advantages and disadvantages for the various printers that I mentioned for the dot matrix printer resolution is an issue it's got the lowest resolution out of the three the speed is very slow at about depending on the printer it could be it could be a page a minute or half a page a minute to three pages per minute for this printer it's maybe 3.33 pages per minute which is slower than the other three other two printers for the inkjet resolution is good um, for color is very good for black I guess it's okay 600 by 600 DPI is I guess it's it's fine you're not gonna have a problem uh, one of the problems with dot matrix printers is that since the resolution is so low what you have on the screen will not fit on one page you know 
it may take up one and a half pages or 1.2 pages or something like that so that's an issue you have with off matrix printers and in the modern world but if you're only printing receipts and stuff like that you're not going to have a problem with a dot matrix printer and dot matrix printers back in the day were used to print banners and stuff we don't do that anymore so uh, but that's one of the th stuff you could do with a dot matrix printer which you can't do with the other two printers and uh, the inkjet printer is faster than the dot matrix but it is slower than the laser printer if you print color then it's a lot slower the speed goes down to 5.7 pages per minute opposed to 9.9 .9 pages per minute for black printing black ink for the laser printer it's it's probably the ideal printer for the office setting or uh, yeah basically office setting or or if you're a student or something it would probably be the ideal printer for this for for your uh, use resolution is pretty high and it's not very expensive to print with but it does have reliability issues since the, since it is so complicated and you do have to maintain it and pages like 27 pages per minute to 30 pages sometimes even higher for s different types of uh, laser printers it's fast it prints very high resolution uh, images on paper and that's good that's a good thing about it um, in my personal opinion I like the laser printer I have one I also have a dot matrix printer which I use for printing out receipts but uh, keep in mind when you print when you make uh, templates for uh, dot matrix printer you have to take the limitations of the printer in account you know so that you can make a receipt template and that's basically it so um, depending on your needs um, you just pick the printer which is right for you basically based on uh, economics and uh, what you basically need printed and another problem with dot matrix printers is if you want to print stuff like barcodes and stuff like that the QR codes uh, the resolution is probably too low to make that even work so just keep that in mind okay so anyways thanks for watching by Ace 1000k